Uh, Perfect. Yeah, sorry about that, guys uh, and, and girls. It was a lame start, but let's get it, get it going. As you know, Community United Through Soccer uh, is our uh, vision. So we're trying to unite the entire community through the beautiful game. So I uh, just thought I should keep sharing that. That's what we do now whenever we have a meeting. We share our uh, vision. Uh, so the agenda is pretty straightforward. I'm just going to go through some things. M most importantly, I'm going to try to engage you by uh, having you, you know, ask questions about this because everybody, every coach wants you to play it out from the back. So you, you, I think everybody, including a coach, but also players uh, need to understand why. Obviously we're coaches, so we grasp it a lot better. Uh, and some players may grasp it better than others as well. So uh, the biggest thing is uh, just trying to educate our entire base of players on what to do. Uh, some of the strengths that are required and just, Today, we're just going to highlight basically the, the, the defensive midfielder. Uh, we can go on very broad from there, but we're going to be, uh, deal with the defensive midfielder, the fullbacks, the center back, and the goalkeeper. And, you know, and just kind of show the base of playing it out from the back because you play it out from the back to reach to the strikers today. We're not necessarily focusing on the end product as much, even though there's going to be some goals in the clips and whatnot, but we're really focusing on the uh, start of it all. All right. So why play it out from the back? So first thing, uh, I'm sure all of you remember, uh, you, when you're U13 or U12 going into U13, you just can't kick the ball as far as an adult. So even if you want to play long ball soccer, the only way you can get the ball from one end to the other is typically you're going to have to try to play it out somewhat. So that's why it's very important for the younger kids to understand how to do it. So when you get older and you can kick the ball 60, 70 yards, then uh, it's you know obviously simple and easy for you to do it and you can vary your, what you can do. It also drags the opposition into your own half to allow it space in behind. So what happens is sometimes when teams play it out from the back, the other team just comes and presses you and tries to win the ball uh, because a coach says, go win the ball, go win the game, et cetera. And then they come into your half and what you do is knock it around them, get it to the other half and score. Now by them having about five or six players in your half of the field, it means they only have three or four players or you know, four or five players in their half. So it means we have more opportunities on the other side. The next reason is also to get players out of position. So a really good team, when they're playing it out from the back, it goes to center back, full back, whoever, sometimes the speed of play attracts the midfielders. It attracts various players who should not be in those positions into those positions. So sometimes a midfielder might go wide when they shouldn't go wide, or the striker might go uh, wide as well when they shouldn't go wide, or the, the, the wide player goes central when they shouldn't. So very good tactic to, to get players all over the place. Tires opponents, I don't know, I'm sure all of us have experienced it, even myself as a player back in the day, uh, is when that a good team, a team who knows how to play it out from the back well, possess the ball well, they're running, you're chasing shadows, you're running, you're chasing shadows, teammates are yelling at you, parents are yelling at you, coaches yelling, everybody's uh, all over the place. So it's very uh, uh, frustrating to play against somebody who moves the ball well or a team that moves the ball well. And uh, it also tires them out a little bit. And last but not least, a targeted attack. So sometimes you want to play it out from the back because you realize that every time I get that ball into that left side of the field, it breaks down uh, or the team can't defend it well. Or if you get it to the right side of the field, uh, you, the team can't defend it well. So it's, it's a way to kind of script how you attack as a team and uh, or target certain areas you want to get the ball to destroy your opponent. So that's some of the reasons. I don't know if anybody in the chat right now can throw in a few more reasons that you think it's important to play it out from the back. And I'll, I'll, I'll keep it pumping after that. Who, 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 whose coaches, uh, who listens to that training? That's what I'm looking for. Is it the 08 boys, the 07 girls, my team, the 05s, I don't know. Or did I get it all? Who's, who's gonna come up trumps here? Is anybody? Keep in possession, yes, Kaz. Just to keep possession, right? You're winning one nil. You, you know, it's the 89th minute. Uh, you know, sometimes you just want to keep that possession and uh, tire out the team or, or just get that win, right? So, yeah, that's a good one, Kaz. Kaz, oh, four boys represent. He's showing up everybody else in the, the meeting here today. Anybody else got, uh, got any other reasons? Or we, me and Kaz covered it all. Oh, that's it. All right. 
I'll, I'll test you, your knowledge later on. Good job, Kaz. Uh, sorry. So what strengths are required? It's pretty straightforward. You need to know how to pass. You need to know how to receive. You need to know how to move and not only move, but choreographed movement. So as a center back, you have a certain amount of ways and variations of how you move. I'm not getting into that today. Unfortunately, I'm getting into the basics, but movement is very important, but also when and how to move. Knowing your role, so that ties into movement somewhat. A uh, midfielder moves different than a fullback. I don't want to see my fullback going where my goalkeeper is because that makes no sense, right? Your goalkeeper needs to know where to move or, or know his or her role. So everybody has a specific role when it comes to playing it out from the back. If right now in uh, this uh, meeting today, if you don't fully know what your role is when it comes to playing out from the back, it's okay. Don't feel bad. You need to ask your coach. You need to challenge your coach. Or maybe you might pick up some, some tricks or tidbits uh, from this uh, this meeting today. So that's another thing I think uh, everybody should understand. Uh, knowing your teammates' roles. So I know everything there is to be a goalkeeper coach. I'm good to go. Well, if the center back makes a specific run and you do not know what that run means or you don't know what that center back's role is when it comes to playing it out from the back, then what happens is that they made a great run or it's a trigger for the goalkeeper to pass to him or her and what happens is that you did not know that as a goalkeeper, so you mess up the play. Or it could be fullback and, and a midfielder. If the fullback doesn't understand the midfielder's runs or their role, then the fullback is confused. So everybody is intermingled, intertwined, and you must know everybody's role within uh, playing it out from the back. And last but not least, patience. Too many times, okay, I play it to center back, then to fullback, and then we panic or we say we need to keep going forward. Patience, go back to the center back, go back to the goalkeeper again and recycle. Okay, so those are just a few of the things uh, uh, that needs to be uh, uh, you need to have when you when it comes to playing it up from the back. Sorry. So role of the center back. Center back important qualities to have first player to start the attack. So that's the first thing I just wanted to bring up. You are typically the first one to start the attack when the playing it out from the back. Uh, begins. Now, the goalkeeper on paper starts the process, but as soon most passes when it comes to playing it out from the back is center back to, uh, sorry, goalkeeper to center back. So center back is the one who really gets the ball rolling, whether it me means going back to the goalkeeper or going to the fullback or even launching it long to the striker. Any one of these things can happen, but they usually the one who initiate the attack after receiving it from the uh, goalkeeper. Almost always they spread apart to make a triangle with the goalkeeper. So opening up. So why does that happen? We're going to address it a little bit more in the following slides, but that is something that we must always, well, almost always have. Some tactics are a little bit different where you don't need to split all the time, but most of the times you split. Should be done at speed. You cannot play it out from the back slow because a good pressing team or a fast team or a quick team, they're going to win the ball from you. So that means you need, need to do all actions, whether it be dribbling, passing, or uh, anything else in between, uh, you, or, or sorry, moving, uh, you, you need to make sure and do it at speed. You, you can do these things slow. Should face forward most of the time. So I say most of the times because not all the time you can face forward. So in order, when you face forward, obviously you can see who's coming and you can also see what's behind you. So that's why we always want to be opened up or our body position in a way where we can see forward and back. You can't always see everything, but that's where scanning and checking your shoulder comes into play as well. So again, most of the times you want to face forward. That's the only way you can play it up from the back. Play a variety of balls. You must have a range of passes. Short passes, long passes, curl passes, driven passes, probably not slow passes. Slow passes is probably the only type we don't want. We want it nice and quick and uh, the ball moving well. Be patient and use your relief pass when necessary. So relief pass is basically going back. It's a nice fancy word for going back. Uh, and if there's space, always take it. Playing it out from the back doesn't mean you need to do 20 passes to get the ball from goalkeeper to, to midfielder or goalkeeper to striker. It means just getting the ball for, out from where your defense is or out from your final third or your defensive third. That's what playing it out from the back is. Whether it means you, you take 20 passes or maybe just one, or maybe you didn't even make a pass, you dribbled all the way out, that's still playing it out from the back, just in different ways. So this is a visual of splitting. 
obviously. Two center backs get nice and split. Uh, goalkeeper is obviously uh, at the back. And we do this to form a nice triangle. So obviously before, I'm going to go back before, it's too close. So if I throw one uh, midfielder in there right now or one striker in there, so I'm just going to throw it. If, if I put, oops, sorry, there we go. Sorry. There we go. So now annotate. And yeah, there we go. So yeah, perfect. So if I put a striker in here right now, if these two players do not split, then it becomes very easy for that striker to win the ball. So now when we, uh, oh, you can't annotate and do it. So now when we uh, split, so I'm still getting used to the zoom thing and, and this marker and whatnot. So now when we split, this player in the middle has a hard time to get left and right. So now you can, it's like a 3v1 round. You can think about it like that. So that's the first initial important part of splitting. The next thing obviously is the angles and all the options. The other thing is by getting wider, center backs can see forward. So just as I was talking about a little bit before, if you cannot see forward, it's hard for you to play it out from the back. If you're always facing your own uh, net, then you're always going to pass it back. And then maybe you hit the ball long, you lose the ball. So that's why we always want to get nice and split. Uh, obviously, it varies. I put it like this because that's standard. But, you know, some fields, the 18-yard box is super wide. Or, you know, you got to adapt to the field. But that's kind of standard how you split as a, a center back. It also gives the goalkeeper more than one option. And last but not least, the big one, it opens up the midfield. It opens up that pass from that goalkeeper to the midfielder. Uh, from, from this uh, goalkeeper, it can play it into a midfield uh, player. So that's, those are some of the important things uh, when, when it comes to the center back's role and playing it out from the back. All right, we'll get into some videos after, but I just wanted to show it. Role of the goalkeeper. It's going to be straightforward. Negative support provide that relief pass option. So all goalkeepers on the call today, that's your biggest job when playing it out from the back. You must always be an option. If you are not an option, if you're ball watching, then you're not playing it out from the back well. Now it happens a lot, goalkeepers tend to ball watch, but as you get better, as you get older, as you get coached, it's, it starts clicking. So I, biggest thing for, uh, for me right now is for you goalkeepers to be aware of this that you must always be that option to go backwards because we can't go forward all the time. Helps to help teammates as well by guiding them and communicating. So as you see in, in the professional game, men, women, the goalkeepers are yelling all the time. Sometimes they, 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 they go over the top, but for the most part, they're yelling proper instruction. So I, I think it's important goalkeepers say, come back, you know, all of that stuff. And biggest thing is also react quickly if it breaks down. So I might pass to the center back and the center back passed to the midfielder, but it was a bad pass. And you might be slightly out of position, so you need to get back in a position quick, or else you're going to concede, or they're going to have a shot. So make sure and react as quickly as you can when it breaks down. As some communication uh, obviously include man, woman on, takes place, uh, take your space, slow it down, uh, uh, speed it up, pass back, open up, get wide, interchange, and other directions that may have been rehearsed by the coach, the players, et cetera. Is there anyone who uh, think about some other things that the goalkeeper may want to tell uh, the teammates uh, on the field? Uh, now is a little interactive period where you can throw in some, some communications that I may have missed out. And then it's being recorded, so obviously it'll be there in the future. And feel free to uh, un unmute yourself to speak as well. I'm more than happy uh, to have that dialogue as well. So I'll give it 10 seconds and then I move on. Anybody? No? All right, so I'll just move on then. So yeah, most important role in playing it out from the back, relief pass. So this player, this center back gets pressured. So obviously you play it. Uh, this is not to scale by the way, because you never really want to pass across your goal like that but I'm just doing it for argument's sake. So now they pressure over there, but as you can see, the goalkeeper at the bottom of the screen over here is uh, supporting. So now it goes back over here. While that ball is traveling, that goalkeeper must support again. So that's basically the most important action from that goalkeeper, playing it out from the back. 
Roll of the midfielders. Basically, you form a diamond. That's your biggest role when playing it out from the back. Create more angles of support. Before teammates had maximum of two options before, now they have three options. So I'll get into that into the diagram in a bit. It takes another possible player out of the game when you're trying to receive or trying to play it out from the back. That midfielder that's checking in to receive the ball on paper is being marked by someone. So that player is going to now follow them wherever they go to try to mark them. Now that's one less player in the opponent's half. That's one less player defending uh, higher up the field. So sometimes it can be used as a decoy to open up space in behind, if that makes sense. Important to have a range of passes, but also ability to dribble when you receive the ball. So it's not only about you know, passing, as I said before, it's also very important to be able to um, uh, dribble out of pressure as well. Sorry, that was putting me, uh, upsetting me. Uh, important to get on the half turn by scanning or being brave. So don't just be scared and, and freeze up and always try to pass back. Sometimes try to get on the half turn. And obviously, if you check your shoulder, you realize you got the space, you can turn, right? So how it affects the opponents or how it breaks down now when we do it. So we throw in that midfielder. Immediately, what does this remind you of? So I'm going to ask the question now in the chat. What does this situation right now remind you of? And remember, this is not a real game setup, you know, but it's breaking it down into smaller pieces. There's obviously fullbacks. There's obviously uh, other midfielders, other strikers. All right now, I'm just taking it with our three, uh, our goalkeeper, our two center backs, our midfielder, and two other strikers. So I saw, saw somebody in the chat. Yeah, perfect. Kaz, very good. Uh, Kaz said uh, uh, Rondo and uh, from 04 Boys and, and, and uh, Max uh, Diaz Sorby from the 07 Boys, he said a diamond and 100%. So the diamond obviously gives you a few more options. I'm sorry, I need to click it. And nail on there uh, with the diamond and the Rondo. So now the biggest thing that I want to highlight now is that in a game setting, ball gets played from goalkeeper to center back. So right now the ball is at the center back right now. What happens is that that player pressures. So now on paper, what you're going to do is pat, get the ball to the other center back. So how it affects the opponent, the striker runs again. The striker runs all the way over, gets a little bit more tired, gets a little bit more frustrated. Then the ball goes back to the other side. So now what can happen is this, that midfielder who was now marking that player uh, in the midfield, so the opponent's midfielder was marking our midfielder, goes to pressure our center back. So that frustration that this player had, oh, I'm getting fed up, help me, help me, you know, maybe the, they don't know how to press properly, goes out of position. So now easily, it destabilizes their attack or their defense, sorry, their, their, their defenders. Uh, then the ball goes back to their goalkeeper. Now the channel is open to go into midfield. So that's just one simple way in a 4v2 scenario where we can destabilize their defenders in the attacking third and get it into our midfield. And now we can definitely go forward, you know, and obviously there's other players, but that's the gist of it. Role of the fullbacks. Provides added width, gives goalkeepers, midfielders, and center backs brand new options that weren't there before. So if we go backwards, there's only three options every player on the ball. So if you look right now, sorry, if you look right now, and I'm going to just get on here. Why is it slowing me down? There we go. Draw, come on. Computer's lagging a bit again. I have too much stuff open. Annotate. You want to try to stop the sharing and do it again? Are you seeing it still? I'm still, yeah, I see the sharing. I see the field with the diamond to attract the destabilized defense and tire and frustrate the player. My screen just went black. What the hell is going on with my computer right now? Sorry, everyone, technical difficulties.
Is everybody seeing that now? Uh, personally, I still see the same slide as before. All right, I'm going to stop sharing and reshare. Sorry about that. Oh my goodness. Uh, there we go. All right, maybe I close. I'm going to close some some tabs. So far, everybody, you can use the chat. How are you enjoying it? Share a screen. Uh, perfect. So I'm back in. Can we annotate? Draw. Perfect. We're seeing that, right? Uh, yes. Perfect. All right. So we're back on here. So my point before that I was trying to make is that before, if you just look, this player is on the ball right now. On paper, they only have three options. So they can pass to this player if they're under pressure. Okay, this player, if under pressure. And if there is not, this this arrow was there from before. But if, uh, you know, they want, they can technically go backwards to the goalkeeper as well. All right. So now what happens is... Uh, Raise. Now, when we add those fullbacks, we just unlock a brand new, uh, a brand new amount of options and a, a brand new uh, set of uh, combinations. So, uh, so yeah, that weren't there before. It also adds an extra line to play it out. So, I'm going to show you the example after uh, uh, in the slide. Allows for a longer ball as well. So. You know, we're not trying to boot the ball forward because, again, some of us at 13, 14 can't kick the ball that far anyway. The other thing is that, you know, we, we also still want to attract these players into our half. But sometimes they're pressuring so well that we can't always go for that short pass. So we need to go for that medium range pass. That Instead of that 10-yard pass or that 80-yard pass, we're going to go for that 20-yard pass, that 25-yard pass. And those fullbacks really allow us to get those passes in. And uh, if it goes to that midfielder, you create new triangles. So this is right now what we had before. Now we add in our two center backs, right back, left back. Three pressuring players are now on the field as well. And I'm going to walk through the process a little bit. So now we, we, we elaborate a little bit more. That is how I would like those players to go. So I'm going to ask. Sorry, question. Adrian. Sorry, did you change slide? Yes. Uh, you know, I still see the can advance forward. Oh. Does everybody else not see the new slides? Please, guys, unmute yourself if you want. Can they unmute? Uh, I believe they can. Fernando, can you try to unmute yourself? Okay, sorry guys, okay. So I'll stop sharing, I'll reshare again. I was watching TV today and a lot of people were having issues with their internet too, so maybe. Okay, now it's, it now it's better, there is a visual. Yeah, oh, perfect. Uh, all right, so yeah, this was our diamond before, as uh, uh, Max uh, pointed out, and uh, or technically our rondo, but now we add in two extra players. Right back, left back. Three opposing defenders or attackers. And the reason, I'm gonna keep it at this. Oh. My goodness. There we go. I'm gonna keep it like this. Uh, and when we go on the other side, sorry, this all this lagging and stuff is throwing me off and my, my rhythm a little bit. So right now in the chat, where should the fullbacks go right now in order to play it out from the back efficiently right now? So who, who can give me that? So the, 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 the picture on the left is not appropriate to play it out from the back properly. So, and there's several reasons why, and I'm gonna ask that question after. But who can tell me where those fullbacks need to be right now to efficiently play it out from the back?
Again, guys, don't be shy. I think when you're on the field, you talk to your coach. It's pretty much the same. You can unmute yourself, I believe, because I check the options. Are, are they able to put like a, a public? Sorry? Are they able to message public? E yeah, I believe so. I don't see any. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm getting them now. All right, so yeah, out wide to the side, as far as up, you can go wide and more up, wide and slightly higher, higher up, exactly. And now I'm going to get into why this is so important. So now you probably already know, or maybe some of you might just do it because you know it's right, but you're not 100% sure why you need to be doing it, right? So the biggest reason, oh, there we go, obviously, yeah, higher, wider. And if you notice that midfielder that was higher up the field as well, checks in. So one of the things I always ask my midfielders to do is never start at the position where they want to receive, receive the ball. Always start a bit higher and then check in. That way they can lose their, de uh, their defender or, their, or the midfielder defending them in the, the middle of the pitch. So if you look back here, see where the midfielder is, is in the middle here? They check in instead. So I, I wanted to just point that out. And we look at the center backs. They get nice and wide, as talked about before. Full backs higher. Now I'm going to go on to the next slide. Uh, something in chat here. Okay, now everybody, you'll be able to chat uh, publicly. All right, perfect. Got some dialogue going here. My computer is just moving a little bit slow, so sorry if I'm taking a bit longer than I should. Okay, thanks, Hannah. Uh, perfect. Yes, perfect. So yeah, so that's how we want the, the players. I'm seeing Max saying no with a, a lot of no's. You, you care to share your, your points, Max? Is, is, is there uh, something you'd like to uh, address? Oh, Sylvana can't see anything now. Oh, still on the previous slide. That's what's going on. Oh, my goodness. You know what? what it, everybody's looking. Yes, we are still visual. Adrian, maybe take out your video. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna take off my video then. Let's do that, yeah, that probably will work. Good call. Stop video, come on. No, I'm gonna stop, sure, for a second. And I'm just gonna close a few more tabs. I don't know really what's going on. All right, I'm gonna share again. We're almost there, we're almost there. All right, is everybody seeing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. all good. All right, perfect. We're gonna keep it pumping because uh, we don't have much more time. I wanna get to some videos. So, so this is the visual. Oh my God, move. There we go, all right. So now the defenders are in. And now in a real game, I know there's not going to be only three players, but I'm trying to break it down in a, in a smaller form. That way we can build it up. And then it's so easy to put in extra players, uh, defenders, attackers, and dissect it. But it's always a little bit easier when you do less numbers, just like in training. So obviously now with that, as opposed to before, you just have all these different options. Now, if you go on the last slide and you look at it, you don't have as much options when it's like that. When you open up now, you get a ton more options. All right. So now on this side, you, there's two other things now, or one other thing that makes this not good playing it out from the back. And I want to see who can get this one. It's a big one. Why playing it out from the back like this, this does not make sense. Uh, sorry, Adrian, I just see visual and I see the goalkeeper, the four and the five player. I don't see the opponent. Are you seeing it now? No. It's probably oh. only me, but yeah, Max, a three, one, yeah, different triangle and, and diamond. Good job, Max. But I think everybody stop at the visual. I, we don't see the three or four defender that you put. You know what I think? 
I think every time I go back, it messes up the screen sharing. So I'm going to stop going back. That's probably what's happening. I'm just going to buzz through it. Dang. So much better for in a classroom. Seeing that? Yeah, now yes. All right. I see three defenders and the triangle diamond. Do you Diamonds. see the other screen that just came up, the other field? Yes, we do. Perfect. Perfect. So, uh, so yeah, there's a big reason why we cannot stay in that flat four and that midfield four. And uh, who can point that out now? And I'm going to highlight it after. So, obviously, we get a lot more passing options. But there's one other thing by spreading out like that with some players higher up the field and some players lower on the, on the field. Other than passing options, there's one other thing that, you know, it makes it a lot more difficult for the opponents to, uh, to, to do. Might have given it away a little bit there. Can anybody guess? No? Don't be shy. You could send it privately if you, uh, if you want. Well, this is the biggest thing. Okay, if you had a front three, oh, I got some people here. Chat. And again, it's just putting some 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 uh, rationale behind what we do, so you just don't say, "Oh, well, coach told me to go high and wide, so I just go high and wide." You know. Trying to see the chat here, but now the chat's lagging. Holy smokes! So I can give you the chat. So we have. Uh from max okay. yeah good uh, max is a makes better passing option and they and they can't cover everything and from alex and lauren it's harder for the defenders to cover to cover everyone exactly so and that now I, oh it's not and that is a hundred percent easy for pro, it's right now in this moment it's easy for opponents to defend and mark so that's why we open up like that as you can see so as soon as you open up as uh, and obviously less passing options. So as soon as you open up the other way, now these defenders have to think, do I drop? Do I stay? And really good teams. And I've encountered it with my own teams where we don't press properly because why? Their players are all over the place. They're staggered. And that really causes confusion. So that's very uh, important. So sorry it was so laggy and, and all over the place. Before I get onto some clips, I, I'd like uh, to answer some questions. Uh, if anybody has any on playing playing it out from the back. Because I know everybody says playing it out from the back, but not everybody can do it properly. So some of you may have, uh, you know, some issues doing it. And if not, I'm just going to move right on. Sorry, I'm going to... Maybe I have a question for everybody. Yeah, you think, guys, it's only important to the fullback get wide or also who pass to the fullback to pass in the right spot, in the right space for them to see forward? So do you think it's responsibility only the receiver to get wide and open or also who is, have the ball has to give the best ball for his teammates to progress? or not what do you think everyone job good max both yes because if you want to go forward on the left side uh, on the left fullback but you play on his right leg he's going to facing the goalkeeper rather than go forward so it's really important also when we pass to pass in all forward into the space or in their feet by in the right or left feet based on the position Uh, sorry, you're saying my uh, schoolwork, doing a budget. Yeah, I go yeah. to school. Good job, Hannah. They have to give the best ball and be in the right space. Yes. Good, Max. Good, guys. Very, very good. So also in the rondos, the coaches ask you, hey, back, use your back foot. Why? Because you have a 180 degree body position. So you can see who's going to pass to you. You can see the next player you want to try to get the ball and you see yourself. So that's why it's important that 180 degree playing with your back foot and give the ball on the foot that you want to go forward. Mm. 
Good stuff. All right. Is everybody seeing my screen? Sorry. Are you seeing my screen, Mark? Yeah, I see your screen. I see 420. I see your calculator. Your calculator. Hell, man. <laughs> we just see your desktop. Right now, I have a video open. I don't know why it's not showing the video. So clearly computer issues today. So again, apologies, everyone. Let's get onto a few videos and just dissect it a little bit. And uh, sorry, Adrian, before I interrupt you, I might jump with Fernando after, okay? Yeah, yeah, no no problem, man. Um, so are we seeing this right now? Uh, yeah, I see the video, stop the video, yeah. Uh, ...to medically retire, but they haven't had a mainstay since her in 2016. It was a revolving door of gold... Um, but Brooke Lippman has come in and, and really solidified her. Are we seeing this? No, I think I just still see the same screen of Florida, Kentucky, uh, but it doesn't play. Yeah, I think it's frozen. Oh my goodness. You can send the link if you want. Eh? Yeah, I'll, I'll probably have to share this video. I'm going to try one more time and walk through some of these videos. But uh, if it doesn't uh, work, maybe I should have uh, restarted my computer before I did this, because my computer is definitely giving me issues. Do we see it again or no? Uh, yeah, better, better. And the video quality is okay? No, now stop it a lot. No, now stop it in mine. You can hear it, but you, it, it doesn't follow. Oh, right. but well, you'll see it when she's 100%. That's, a, that's the most I got, guys. Uh, girls. I, it doesn't seem to be cooperating today, unfortunately. I will. Uh, what I'll do is next week I'll, I'll go. I'll start. Adrian. I think, guys, we lost Adrian probably. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, okay. Good. I messed it up myself. <laughs> so sorry about that. I, I really don't know what's going on. It, it makes no sense to keep uh, going at it uh, if it's not working properly. It's uh, taken away from the experience. So I apologize. What I'm going to do is next week, I'm going to start off with those videos. And uh, next week as well, I'm going to go into a little bit more possession higher up the field uh, with a focus on interchanging of positions between different pos uh, players. Did you hear me there? Was, was, yeah. Was I, oh, okay, good, good. I thought I was frozen. I, I can't see anybody. So, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so, uh, thanks for... So, wait, Adrian. Adrian, are you there? Adrian? I think we Come. got... Okay, are you there? Yeah, I'm here now. <laughs> Sorry, someone has asked... Yeah. Are the slides and videos going to be posted anywhere so we can see later? I believe we are going to post in our YouTube page. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can share the uh, video. The, 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 the presentation itself, I'll share, I'll take out the animations because the animations destroy the, the PowerPoint so you can't really see it properly. So, uh, but I can share the, like, the, the bulk of it. Uh, but... Yes, uh, we didn't hear you all the time, but I think, uh, guys, we are going to upload this video so you can review it uh, because the most of the slides were in, so I'm sure you're able to, to do them again. I'll, sh I'll give you the YouTube page. Just give me a second, everybody. It's pretty much if you look for THPFC, you should be able to find our page. Let me see if I can give you this, guys.
Can someone click to the link? And what do you see when you click to the link? Maybe Alex and Lauren, can you try to click? Or Max too, can you click or Thomas? I found the link. You found the link? I'm on the YouTube. Is that link was working? Perfect, Thomas, thank you. The link worked. Okay, so there is also video from past uh, stuff we have done, okay, online, like different workout, uh, core balance, uh, different uh, skills, uh, ball mastery, okay, that you can do anytime. And that's where usually we post everything we do. Okay, guys. Again, I don't know if Adrian is here, but I want to say thank you for everybody to be here. And uh, we will see you on a Thursday for the HIIT workout. And uh, that's pretty much. Again, thank you, everybody. Have a good night. Bye-bye.